Here's an iPad 6 generation. Visa. A10X chip inside it. There's an iPhone 8 with an A11 chip. A10X and A11, which is faster. So we do a speed test today. Are you ready? Here's some information for A10, A10X, and A11 chip. See? For the A10 chip, it its maximum CPU clock rate is 2.34 GHz, and for the A10X is 2.38 GHz, and for the A11 is 2.39 GHz. So as you can see, uh, these two don't have uh, only have a little difference, but it can have a big difference. And then for the minimum size and uh, A10 chip, you can see is 16 nanometer, which is a little bigger than the 10, 10 nanometer on the A10X and A11. So let's do a speed test. Just from now. Okay, for the camera app, let's see, okay, it needs to be a good direction, so my hand can reach both two. Oops, that failed. Okay. In three, two, one. As you can see, I don't know why, when it starts, the iPhone 8 is slower. Oh, exactly the same time. And for, for the, okay, for the Safari. Both in the Google. Yes. And then we clear it. And then Start again and let's see who is faster. So, a little faster, just by the zero point point zero one GSD. Exactly the same time. By the way, the device I used to record that video only have an A8 chip. So slow. So, for the maps, we, we load our maps and then, okay, in 3, 2. So, oh yeah. I need to change it to the regular map and then do that again. This is a math my robot do. Just don't care about it. Yes. And we do it again.
exactly the same time. So, so, so. And then let's search a place. For example, my elementary school. Ah, next year I will be a middle schooler. <laughs> I'm not. I'm a, a little afraid about this because I just heard about there's some bully or something. So now I'm a fifth grader. <laughs> okay. Who will give my keep the roads faster? Exactly the same time. Directions. Starting route to Maple Hill Elementary School. Head oh. northwest on Fountain Springs Road. Then turn right onto South Brea Canyon Road. So now we can. So exactly the same. This exactly the same. Okay, so now what else can we? That's okay. Because the the other the another app is is like you need to spend a dollar, but now you don't need to spend a dollar. So look the gig bench. Need you need to spend a dollar, but now you can't spend a dollar. You do not need to spend a dollar or pay or something. You just download it, and then we do the same thing on the iPad. Do do benchmark. Okay, that's so slow. Oh yeah. Oh oh. How did download it? it? Yeah, it's right there. So we wait on the iPhone to done, and we will test okay. out. The download is done, and we tap open. Okay. You already give me a point, but give me a score. But I just. Want to test again? Oh, oh. <laughs> there are some funny videos. That's a little loud. So where and how it done? As you can see the iPad six generation get two hundred thousand and one hundred and one hundred seven points and. For the iPhone 8, it's 221 and 30, 311 points. So overall, iPhone 8 is a little bit higher on the score, but when you use, when you use it and the speed is exactly the same. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, why the... Score is so it's higher, but 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 their reaction time is the same, so I'm a little confused about that. But I want to say if your device is hot, like, like I use it. You use it for a long, long, long time, and it get very hot, and then the score will be lower. So, bye.